I'm here at Longcombe HQ in London, undergoing a BAFTA beauty makeover. I've just had my hair done, courtesy of Charles Worthington, and now we're going to make a start on the makeup. I'm here with Shella Shake, the head makeup artist who is in charge of all the actresses' makeup for the BAFTAs, and we're going to be doing three different beauty looks. So Shella, talk me through the first look. Okay, so one of the first looks we're going to do is a bold lip. So this is real classic red carpet look. Mm -hmm don't have to use red for it. I think when people think statement lip, red, it can be berry lip or orange. So we're going to get started first with complexion. Fantastic. Okay, so um, I've prepped your skin already. So I've cleansed, which is super important, mm -hmm. just to make sure that the skin is smooth all over, removed any dryness. I've toned, uh, blotted in between. I've used Advanced Genifique Serum to give a smoothness and radiance to the skin because it's really important to have that natural glow coming through. And I've used Hydra Hydrazen Gel Moisturiser because it's not um, too rich on the skin. Mm -hmm. It's still going to give moisture, um, but it works very well on the red carpet because you're not building too many layers on the skin. Great. So um, I'm going to move on to foundation, mm -hmm. um, but I'm going to use a primer first. First thing I'm going to put on is Labas Pro Primer. Now this will actually mattify the skin and it's going to just keep the makeup in place all mm -hmm. day. So I really focus that into the T-zone first and I just blend that with my fingers, just really melt it in. Mm -hmm. Feels really nice actually. It's super silky. Mm. So I'm just using some liquid illuminator mm -hmm. and I'm basically, I work with the areas of the face which catch light, but what I'm doing is not overloading the skin. I'm just applying hints of light so that it's not too much because with the flash photography, it can be a bit much yeah. with the light. So the center panel of the face, I keep completely free from anything um, with shine. Mm -hmm. And then I just pop a tiny bit just above the brows here because the light always bounces. And where your hair is up, this part is on show. So I just want to get a little bit of light there as well. What I do for foundation on the red carpet is I mix two foundations. Now, there's one which is Tonte Doll Ultra 24 Hour Foundation. So this is literally something that will hold all day. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's comfortable. It's a buildable foundation as well. Um, and it's mattifying. Um, it's got um, ingredients inside it which actually block the skin um, and mattify it throughout the day. To stop the oil from coming through. Yeah, Which exactly. is what you'd need if you were out all night <laughs> at the Baptist. Exactly. Um, and then I also put a drop of Tonte Miracle foundation in mm -hmm. which is an illuminating foundation and this has got white light technology so I just put a tiny bit of that in because what mm -hmm. I don't want is a complete matte skin I still mm -hmm. want that glow coming yeah through. so I apply it with a foundation brush and the best way of doing this is just to really work it into the brush and build it in tiny tiny layers and I really buff it into the skin rather than mm -hmm. paint it on so if I just start on the cheeks just here, and rather than cover the whole face, I really look and see where do I need to neutralize first, and I aim for those areas, because what I don't want to do is create a mask on mm -hmm. the skin. So the next thing I'm going to do is um, correct and balance around the eyes. Yeah. Now rather than using one concealer, I'm going to use two. The ones that I'm using are the Top Miracle pens, so they're light reflective. So I'm using shade number two, which is a little bit pinky first, because mm -hmm. what I want to do is just correct any discoloration underneath the eyes. I've probably got quite a lot of discoloration today. Again, just key to this is not putting loads on straight away, mm -hmm. just a tiny bit. It's always a temptation if you've got kind of shadows or eye bags just to pile it on, yeah. put as much as you can on to try and cover them up. Exactly. But it, um, it would just start to crack and it would mm. start to move. So and you end up looking worse than you did to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm using a tiny bit of translucent powder, which is mm -hmm. my best friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so this isn't going to build up too much on the skin. It will just mattify a bit completely colourless. Where this is light reflective, I'm going to just apply around the eyes, but like a triangle. So I start from the inner corner of the eye, mm -hmm. move down to the middle of the cheek, and then from the top of the cheek, 
back down to the middle again. Okay, and what does that do? So what this does is it, we create a point of light just on the face here. So the light falls and it's going to um, push more light upwards. Mm -hmm. So it gives more of a lift to the face. But what it actually does, especially on the red carpet, is just give you that beautiful finish on your skin yeah. and that illuminating glow. Brilliant. Okay, and I've, I've gone across the top of the cheekbone here, again, just to get a bit more light coming mm -hmm. through. My base is now complete and I guess we can start on the rest of the features. Exactly. Next what we're going to do is contour. So I'm actually using um, a very neutral shade here oh, okay. um, in the contour palette. I'm not using bronzer because cause, um, you've got quite a fair skin. Mm -hmm. I don't want anything to come up that's too warm. Mm -hmm. So this is going to give you um, the right tone. Great. So It almost looks like a kind of brownie eyeshadow. Yeah, and funny enough I'm actually going to use it as eyeshadow as well today oh, okay. because it's a really beautiful neutral colour. So with this look, the cheek isn't a strong cheek. Mm -hmm. um, all it is is just a hollow created underneath. So it should just create a bit more of a shadow. So what I do is I I contour very lightly just the sides and into the temples. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is define your brows. Mm -hmm. So I do this before I put any of the eye makeup on because to me this is still part of your complexion because what we're doing is putting the structure in your face. Mm -hmm. So um, brows are definitely something that can't be missed off. So I'm just using some powder, brow powder, and then just starting from about a third of the way in here, I'm just using an angle brush just to straight that through. So. With this look, the eye is very natural, um, it's really, really minimal. So I'm actually just going to use the shade that we've got on the cheeks, mm -hmm. I'm going to put it on the eyes, from um, the contour colour. So this is actually a cheek palette that you're using on my eyes? Yes, exactly. So um, I don't restrict myself when it comes mm -hmm. to makeup. Um, I tend to use blushes quite a lot on the eyes, especially if they're bronze colours, neutrals. Peach always works nice, especially against blue eyes, just to really make them pop, because they're still powder and they're still texture. Mm -hmm. so, so it's kind of like a multitasking palette. Yeah, exactly. And also, like in terms of kit, you don't have to pack so much yeah. stuff. You've got everything that you need. So I'm just going to wash very lightly. I'm going to wash this colour over the eye so it literally just looks like um, a soft shade coming through and then just going up to the socket so I just pat the colour first and then I blend it across I'm just going to highlight around the eyes I'm mixing a pearl and a cream matte eyeshadow mm -hmm. so I'm mixing the two textures because again I don't want too much um, too much of a highlight and I also don't want a completely matte finish and I'm just highlighting the inner corner of the eye just underneath the brow here as well so again you're getting a very gentle highlight so this is going to make the eyes appear wider and fuller so the next thing I'm going to do is just mm -hmm. apply a tiny tiny bit of um, eyeliner and I'm using um, a coal which is in a kind of wind up pen mm -hmm. but this is, isn't going to look like a line, it's just going to be um, in the uh, root of the lashes so it gives a little bit of definition yeah. and I'm going to really mascara for you. Brilliant. Okay. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to go all the way across with this, I tend to go about halfway or two thirds and then I'm just using a smudge brush. I'm just going over the top. So this is um, a waterproof coal, so it does last long. And then I use a tiny bit of matte brown eyeshadow over the top, again just to seal it mm -hmm. and to create a little bit more of a softness. So mascara for me is the most important thing I think on the face. Yeah. Because without it my eyes just kind of disappear. It, yeah, so this is really going to bring them out. Um, I'm using one of my favourite mascaras. It's Hypnos Doll Eyes Mascara. And this one, it's got a cone-shaped brush to it. So what it does, it really lifts, um, really stretches uh, the lashes, and you get that volume um, without getting the clump. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it helps you control how you're applying it too. And have you bent the wand there? I have, yeah, because I'm applying, applying it on someone else, sometimes it's easy just to bend the wand and a little bit. It goes on easier. Yeah, mm -hmm. just to get the right angle. Okay. So, if you can tilt your head back for mm -hmm. me and look down to the floor. 
that's perfect. So I really apply from the roots, I catch the lashes at the base and then I really wriggle it through. So this way I've got some tension on the lashes so I get more of a lift and I build the volume at the roots of the lash rather than dragging it through to the tip. So I go through to the tips just once and then when I go back through for the second coat I push back through just at the base. So you put mascara on the bottom lashes as well? Yes, I will, yeah. So I just remove the, any excess on the tips. I don't want them to look like spider's legs. No, not me neither. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just go back in. I use the point of the mascara wand. Mm -hmm. And I just go back into the root. So it almost looks like you've got a tiny hint of eyeliner going across the yeah. lower lid. The final and probably most important feature of this look is, of course, the lips. How do we do them? Considering I've got wintry, dry lips at the moment, how do we how do we get around that? <laughs> okay, so when I cleanse you after we moisturise, mm -hmm. we put loads of balm on your lips. So yeah. I used um, Absolute La Base, which is it's a lipstick but it's completely clear. So we started using that, so it started soaking through mm -hmm. already. Um, normally, if we're doing a lip, you do your pencil, you do fill it yeah. with your lipstick. With it, it's slightly different from red carpet. Um, because we need to make sure it holds and mm -hmm. we need to make sure the lips look really full. So I'm using, again, a little bit of the Top Mogul Concealer in the number one shade that we used in the triangle around your eyes. And what I want to do is make the lips look fuller. You've got beautiful, perfect shaped lips for this. I just want to add a little bit more light. So I'm just applying it around the edge of the lips with a foundation brush mm -hmm. across the lips just to kind of... Uh, create a base and almost to, bl to blank out that natural tone on there and then I'm going to use a tiny bit of the translucent powder again and just around the edge of the lips I'm not going on top but just on the edge just to seal that concealer but also it just helps to stop that lipstick from moving mm -hmm. if around the mouth it's just very lightly matted down so I'm just going to start on the bottom lip and I'm going to build it in stages. So I fill in the lip as we go. So then you put the lipstick on top of yes, this. Exactly. And I'm using like a really flat brush mm -hmm. for this. And this one's also got an angle, so I can kind of use both sides of it. Okay. Even on its own, it looks really nice, but that's got the base. This is going to sharpen it up for you. Brilliant. So there we have it, the classic statement, red carpet, red lip.